What is ketogenesis? Hi, I'm Paul from Fat Burners Only, and I'm here today to tell you what ketogenesis is, how you get into ketogenesis, and what ketogenesis will do for you. So typically in our Western diets, we eat a lot of carbohydrates. When we eat carbohydrates, the body burns those carbohydrates as fuel, but when we're burning carbs, we're not burning fats as our major energy source and we're not in ketosis. So the way to get into ketosis is to reduce your carbohydrates down to 20 grams or less per day, which is very, very low carbohydrates, to get your protein level roughly one gram per kilo of body weight. Sometimes you can go a little bit higher, but we don't want too much protein because the liver can actually convert protein into carbohydrates. And then we want to make sure that our fat content in our diet is really, really high. What happens to the body, it actually senses this and says, look, I can't burn those carbs as fuel. I need the protein to actually help with tissue repair in the body. Therefore, my largest source of macronutrient being fat, I have to learn to process fats for fuel. And if you can picture a fire, carbohydrates would be the paper or the kindling that you use. So it burns very quick and very hot, but gets petered out very, very quickly and used up very quickly. Fats would be the big logs that last for ages on that fire. And so when you're in ketogenesis and the body is burning fat for fuel instead of carbohydrates, you get sustained energy and it also really helps with activating certain brain receptors at helping with memory retention, learning ability and focus and often mood. So you'll get through your day more effectively and happier as well. So these are some of the side effects and the great benefits from ketogenesis. Now, when you are low carbohydrate and the body is burning fats as fuel from your dietary sources, it's also becoming very effective at burning fat in general. So the body will start technically burning more body fat for fuel. So if you can get into that ketogenic state and train the body to burn fats as fuel, and then you reduce your calorie intake to less than your calorie expenditure, which means that you're actually ingesting less calories through food throughout the day than the calories that you're burning through physical activity, so you've got a deficit, the body is trained to burn fat for fuel, and technically you should start burning more body fat because the body now knows how to burn fat more effectively. So that is what ketogenesis is. That's how to get into ketogenesis and the great effects that it can have for you. You can also use new products on the market called BHB salts. Now these are exogenous ketones. When you're getting into ketogenesis, it can be a little bit rough on the body. So you go into what's sometimes called a keto flu, where the body is used to burning carbs, but it's starting to try and burn fats because you're not giving it carbohydrates. Now you can feel low energy, low mood, and get flu-like symptoms. In that case, if you can put exogenous ketones in your system through BHB salts, you should technically get into ketogenesis a little bit faster because you're training the body to burn fats quicker and it'll stop those flu-like symptoms. So that's ketogenesis in a nutshell. I hope you got something out of that, Bernard. We'll catch you next time. Cheers.